This video will show you how to add your uh, company logo to uh, Visio project files. Um, go ahead and open any um, project that has a Visio file for it. You can right click and do this or go up to the Visio menu here. It's up to you. Let's do this. Launches in the uh, Visio interface. And when the uh, Visio project opens, you can close the project editor if it happens to be open. And go ahead and expand the uh, Detail 6 window. Here in um, the point of this video is to replace this uh, the Details logo here with your own company logo. So uh, that's done via the uh, Details 6 Shapes interface. Um, under Custom, you're going to scroll down and find DT Annotations. Right click that and choose Open Stencil. And uh, this will uh, open the DT Annotations Stencil in the Shapes window within Visio. Right click and uh, put it in Edit Mode. And this is the shape that you're going to want to modify. This is what's on, um, not this particular page, but the uh, background page here. That's actually where it resides. Uh, more on that later. Just go ahead and copy and paste this. So I'm just going to use Control C, Control V, and it will create a backup for me. And uh, I'm just going to happen to rename this backup. Now, this is in case I make any mistakes. I always have a backup for the shape. Um, but you're going to want to edit this shape directly because we do look for this particular name of shape when we're uh, opening any of uh, Visio projects that you uh, create based on our templates. So if you uh, double click this, it will open the uh, shape. And once this opens in this, um, you can see up here it's changed that we're actually looking at this smart frame L scape shape. Click somewhere on it that there's a um, graphic. And it will select the entire um, page is what it looks like here. What you're going to want to do is right click, go to group, do not ungroup. You're going to want to click open landscape title frame. And once you do that, when you start clicking around here, you can see you can select individual parts of this. And um, what we're going to want to do is go ahead and delete the details logo. And go up here to insert and put your company logo. Go ahead and browse for it on your machine. Here's this one. We'll go ahead and put that in there. We'll pull this up to this corner. And of course you can you know, zoom in and resize if you want, reposition. And in this case, I'm even gonna move this address up a little bit and move this divider line. And uh, when you're happy, go ahead and close this window. Close the grouped window. And uh, this is when you'll be asked if you wanna update that shape. I'm gonna choose yes. And now uh, this shape has been edited and any future Visio projects that you create are going to have um, your logo up in the corner. Now to correct the existing uh, project, first thing, let's go ahead and save the stencil here and take it out of edit mode. Um, now this shape, uh, this smart frame L scape shape only resides on the background title page. These other foreground pages here are linked to that background page. So when I click here, you notice it doesn't select. But if you go to the background title page and select that, you see that uh, it gets the little border around it. And you can delete that from the page and then drag over your new shape, this existing project, just drop it on the page and it will snap into place. And uh, now when you go back to any of your foreground pages, you will see that uh, your logo displays.